Hi, welcome back to the farm. My name is Roz, also known as Passion Flower, and you'll find me here each week talking about my farming and creative life. I'm feeling a little flustered this morning because as I walked over here, I've realized that the sheep have broken fences again. I feel like they just get to a point where you think everything's going really well and then they just break things and cause issues. So they've been over in the area near Nassi and the Chooks for about a month now. The grass is getting quite low and they're starting to really push hard on the fence to try and get the green grass that's on the outside. And this morning, this is what I saw when I walked past. But I don't think it was actually Hurley that broke the fence. I'm pretty sure that it's Vito because I've seen him literally like ramming really hard and he like pushes it and bows it and breaks the wire and then Hurley's the one that's able to fit his head through. So they're, like, they're a terrible team. But having said that, only this past week we put in a big bale of hay for them. So we've used a shelter to keep the hay dry and contained and um we put bars across so that they can get their heads in at different points and like reach the top and the bottom and, and all that kind of thing and it went really well like we we're able to put them in the other part of the paddock um do this um securing of the, the shed like make sure the door would stay closed and mark um and put across these bars bought the tractor in and rolled the big bale in and they seem to be super happy with that and then since then they've gone and broken fences um to the point that even the chooks are now in to this area as well so there must be a hole further along that i'm going to have to go find so as soon as i've finished recording here i'm going to be grabbing clips staples wire chicken wire all the bits that i'm going to need it's about to start raining and i'm going to have to go fix fences in the rain um i can give you an update of that next week um once it's all secure but that is going to be my project for the day which i'm not terribly happy about so i'm not sure how much longer i'm going to be able to keep them where they currently are um given the amount that they're pushing on that fence now that there's no grass in there the problem is that the grass out here is actually really not long enough it's going to be decimated really quickly they do still have hay in here but they obviously much prefer the grass over the hay um and as soon as I don't have it, they start pushing on the fence. It's probably easier out here because Hurley can get his head through, whereas in the others, they're all just butting their head against the chicken wire. But I don't know. Um, they're, they're being quite a challenge right now. I did get down to the dam this past week and I checked on the trees that we had planted by land care. The fencing looks like it's doing its job. It appears there isn't quite as much kangaroo poo in amongst the trees and they don't look to be disturbed and they're all growing quite well. So that's good news. And um, hopefully that continues, but my luck with fencing is not going that great. So uh, it may not. Another quiet week, passion flower business wise, I've really not had the energy to do too much and it's been cold and wet and really not the kind of weather that I want to be spending over here in the shed. Um, especially when I've been working in the mornings and then coming home in the afternoon. Um, if I was here all day and I had the fire going from the morning, that would probably be a different story. But um, because I come over sort of late afternoon, it's already getting cool. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot. I have wound some scrap packs down. Um, I plan to create a few more of those to give to... Um, someone who will be at Bendigo. I just need to make sure it's okay that I talk about it. So um, I'll get those ready. I'll have a chat with her and um, and then I can let you know here. But yeah, that um, that's what I've been doing at the moment. And if that doesn't end up happening, then I have those scrap packs to take to markets later in the year. I am looking at the plan for what's going on. And um, the other thing I need to do is do a stock take because it's the end of the financial year. So exciting business admin things to get done this next week. Knitting wise, I have continued to work on the stripy socks for my mum. I am into the leg. I don't know where I was at last time. I may not have even turned the heel. So the heel's done and I'm up into the leg now. So I've still got a little way to go before it's um, finished, but 
I'll, I'll get probably get it done this week. And this is out of um, half baked hand dyed in the Wickwood color. But I did also work on my mosaic shawl this week, which I haven't done for quite a few weeks. And I really did enjoy it. I didn't get a ton done, but I'm I'm getting close to the end now. Um, I sort of realized I think I've only got like two sections left to go. So since I showed you last time, I've knit from the marker up to here. Uh, I think I've almost finished this section. I just have to do a few more rows and then it sort of repeats this on the other side of it. But then the last section, I think, says that you're supposed to use just the white from this. So it'll be the yarn trader tea in the garden colorway, which is um, this one. Um, this one is the is from Bomb Yarns and it's a one of a kind. So that's the blue gray that I'm using. And then the other one is called Potion. I've still got a little bit left. Where is it? Um, Potion by Oliver Fina. Now you're supposed to do the last section in the color that I have is the white, the yarn trader tea in the garden. But I think that's going to look a bit strange. I feel like, and this could just be my opinion. I'm going to try it and see what happens. I feel like it should be in this. And I think I'm probably going to have enough and use all of this and then still have quite a reasonable amount of the other two balls that I could do something else with. So I'm going to get to the point where I finish this section and then um, try out, maybe put in a lifeline and try out using this as the end color and see how it works. I mean, I know I started with these at one end, but I feel like, I don't know, this this just feels like it needs to be the color that goes at the end. So you'll see my plans next week, I think. Just quickly what I'm wearing this week. This is the Radiate by Hohu Locatelli. In um, the green is by Colleen's Crafts and the brown is from... Bennett and Gregor, I think, which I bought from Bendigo Sheep Show many, many years ago and got a couple of jumpers out of it. Um, I did this one sort of bracelet length because I kind of pull my sleeves up quite a bit and it is a nice thick warm one. This is the second version of this jumper that I made because I love it so much. It fits really well. Um, now I'm going to have to get out there in the rain grab all the stuff to do this sheep fencing and go do it. I've had Adam messaging me throughout this video. So there might be some weird cuts telling me what I need to get so that I can fix the fence. So I'm going to go do that and uh, I will talk with you next week. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week on the farm. Bye.